Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. Today I will show you how to create several separate solids in one project in FreeCAD in such a way that they are dependent on each other. FreeCAD is a free 3D CAD system that anyone can use. FreeCAD can be used for both hobbyist and commercial purposes. FreeCAD is fully free and to start using it all you need to do is download FreeCAD. You can download a version that does not require installation on your computer and you can start creating your own 3D models. In fact, within a few minutes, you can start learning this system. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now let's move on to FreeCAD. And I will show you how to create several solids in one project and how to do it so that they are linked together. For instance, I will change the position of this pocket. And here the position of this solid was also changed because it was linked to this pocket and it is a separate solid. Alright, I will start a new project. We will create a new parametric part and I will create a simple solid here, which I will show you with a simple example. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Draw a rectangle with dimensions of 200 by 100 millimeters. OK, we close the sketch and add a pad of 20 millimeters. Now, we will create another sketch on this face, select this face, and choose to create a sketch. Here, we will create two circles with a diameter of 20 millimeters. For now, the position of these circles does not matter much. OK, here I didn't add the diameter of the circle. I select the circle, press the D key, and for the diameter of the circle, I enter 20 millimeters. Now I will add the distances of these circles from the origin of the coordinate system. I select the center of this circle, press the D key, and on the X axis I enter 30 millimeters. On the Y axis, 25 millimeters. OK, now we select the center of this circle. The dimensioning is active, and along the X axis I enter 150 millimeters. Click again on the center of this circle, and along the Y axis, I enter 70 millimeters. These dimensions don't matter much at this moment. We close the sketch and let's add a pocket based on this sketch with a depth of 10 millimeters. We have this simple model and now I would like to create additional solids in this project but in such a way that they are linked to this solid. When it comes to creating a new solid in one FreeCAD project, we do this by clicking the create body button and here a new solid will be created. As for solids in FreeCAD, as you can see here, an element of type body represents a single solid. If you want to create a multi-object part within a single project, you need to do it in such a way that you create separate solids. If you don't need these solids to be linked together in any way, you simply create another solid. You can, for example, hide this solid, and now you are working on another solid, just creating a sketch, adding a pad, and so on these solids will not be linked together. However, if you want the position of the next solid to be linked in some way to the solid you already have, you need to approach this differently. I would like to create another solid that will be linked to the center of this circle. To do this, I need to create a reference geometry here. I will create this reference geometry based on this face of the solid. To do this, I select this face of the solid, and then from the part design menu which is not visible in the recording I expand the menu and select the create a shape binder command. We choose this command and here the face is selected as the geometry and we click OK. Now notice that some geometry has appeared here in the new solid and this is the geometry we created based on the face of the solid that was previously created. Now I will turn off the visibility of this solid, selecting this solid in the operation tree and pressing the space bar to make this solid invisible. In this solid, in the new solid, I can create another sketch. For example, I can choose this face as the sketch plane. We can do this on this plane. We can do it on another plane. I select this plane as the sketch plane. I click OK and now I select the create external geometry command to create reference geometry based on this edge. 
I will draw a circle whose center will lie at this point, for example, a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters. I close the sketch and add a pad. Here I choose two directions, and in the first direction, I add a pad of 10 millimeters, in the second direction, 7 millimeters, and I click OK. At this moment, I will turn on the visibility of this solid. We now have two solids, two separate solids, and these solids are separate, but the position of the second solid is linked to the first solid. Now, if I go to edit this sketch and change the position of this pocket, for example, to 50 millimeters, I close the sketch, the change in the position of this pocket has changed in this model, but the position of this solid has also changed. Simply, the position of this solid is linked to this solid. If I wanted to do something like this in a way that I create a new solid and now choose to create a sketch, I can create a sketch on the base planes of the coordinate system. At this moment, I cannot select this plane as the sketch plane. I can select the XY plane, and now, when I choose the Create External Geometry command, I cannot select the edge of the solid, as I have no reference to this solid. I close this sketch, I will delete this sketch. We can also do something like this by selecting this face, choosing to create a sketch, and here we select the Make Dependent Copy option. I click OK, and now I can create a sketch that will be linked to this solid, but now when I choose to create reference geometry, I cannot select the edge of the solid here. I will try to switch to section view, and I also cannot select this edge as reference geometry. For this purpose, I cancel all sketching commands, go to the Model tab, turn off the visibility of this solid, and return to the Tasks tab. I select the Create External Geometry command, and now I can select this edge as reference geometry. I can create a similar shape and create a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. I close the sketch and add a pad, just like before, in two directions. In the first direction, 10 millimeters, in the second direction, 7 millimeters, and I click OK. I have another solid. Now I will turn on the visibility of this solid, and if I change the position of this pocket, the position of this solid will also change. In the course of this second solid, during the creation of the sketch, it was as if we automatically created geometry of type, shape, binder, to link the created solid to the previous solid. This method of creating solids can be a way to create simple assemblies to some extent. Basically, if we are creating multi-object parts where there is no special cooperation between these parts, but we just want the positions of these parts to be linked together, we can use the Shape Binder option to link these solids together. This video is another video in which I show how to create several separate solids within one FreeCAD project. This can be useful in many cases. In some cases, it may simply be useful to create separate solids that are not linked to each other, while in other cases, it may be useful to create separate solids that are linked together. In these videos, I have demonstrated how to do this, how to create several solids in one project that are not linked to each other, and how to create several solids in one FreeCAD project that are linked together. I will put links to the other videos in the description below this video. That's all for today. We will end here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.